the Ethereum 2.0 merge is right around the corner. It's literally happening in two days or maybe tomorrow by the time you're seeing this video. It happens on September 15th and it is set to happen and it will take about 15 minutes to complete. Now in this video, I'm gonna cover basically what is the Ethereum 2.0 merge as well as what are the risks that are involved because this is one of the largest, most difficult technological uh, software changes that's being made ever in history and uh, there's a lot that could go wrong with it. So I wanna make sure that you're up to date with what could go wrong with it, what are the potential risks as well as what are some of the benefits in involved with this Ethereum 2.0 merge. Now, if you've been living under a rock and you're not familiar with what the Ethereum 2.0 merge is, it's simply the transition from Ethereum going from a proof of work blockchain to a proof of stake blockchain where Ethereum will no longer need to have uh, miners in order to uh, validate the network. Now they'll have stakers, which is a major, major upgrade. Now, along with this, I do believe that this is going to be amazing for the price of Ethereum long term, and I'll explain why. However, there are some risks. But as far as what are the upsides with this whole ETH 2.0 merge, number one, it's going to be like 99.9% .9 more green or energy conserving. It's not really going to take any energy in order to run this blockchain. Whereas currently, it, you know, there's uh, tons and tons of high powered computers around the world that are all uh, working in order to keep up this Ethereum network. Very soon, all you're going to have to do is deposit your crypto onto a website in order to develop, excuse me, in order to validate the network. So very, very simple. Uh, this is a, a really good uh, thing. This is a great narrative for Ethereum. But also on top of that, I think the more bullish fundamental thing for uh, price in terms of tokenomics go is currently Ethereum on the proof of work chain is uh, currently inflationary. About 4.3% of Ethereum's supply gets dumped into the market each year. And as you know, if you uh, put more of something into a market, generally it's not great for price. It generally becomes worth less, right? However, with this upgrade, there's gonna be a 90% um, reduction in issuance of ETH. So now only like 0.43% per year is actually going to be admitted. And also on top of that, with the upgrade that we had earlier this year, the EIP 1559 upgrade, where a portion of all transaction fees, Ethereum transaction fees actually uh, burn ETH, this could for the first time ever make ETH a deflationary asset. So that is to be determined, but uh, these are the really bullish catalysts. And another catalyst here is that uh, obviously miners, a lot of the times they're sellers because they gotta pay for electricity, they gotta pay for their computers, they gotta upgrade their technology, where stakers a lot of the times are holders. So with that all being said, I do think that this is going to be a good thing long term. But as we've seen in crypto throughout history, a lot of the times when there's these big events that people know that are coming up, a lot of the times this is like a sell the news sort of event. Now, there's no way to really know for sure, but you can see here, if we take a look at the Ethereum chart from this wick low here, uh, Ethereum is up like 80% since then. And uh, we have been kind of on this uptrend leading up into this merge. So there is a lot of FUD around this being a sell the news event, which it very well could be where, uh, you know, people have been kind of waiting up to this date. And then, you know, a lot of people are going to dump their ETH. I don't know uh, if that is going to be the case or not. It's just, you know, we'll have to see. Now, as far as some of uh, the other risks of what's going to happen, uh, there's a lot of people that are going to be speculating on this. And essentially what's happening, basically your ETH is going to be airdropped to you. So you're going to get like an equal amount on the proof of work chain uh, while this transition to the proof of work, uh, proof of stake chain happens. And so a lot of people are like extra leveraging up. So if you're familiar with Aave.com, a lot of people are uh, basically looping and leveraging up uh, to get more Ethereum because they're hoping that this airdrop, um, you know, that they'll be able to quickly get this proof of work um, chain airdrop and then they'll be uh, essentially, uh, th th they'll be able to sell it really quick on the market before the price dumps. I do expect the proof of work version of Ethereum to dump really quickly, but this was a concern by Aave that they voiced that uh, a lot of people are uh, leveraging up in attempts to do this. So I would I would say that, you know, if you can take your money out of Aave or take your money off of 
any apps that are running on the Ethereum chain, then I'd say it's probably the safest thing to do. It's better to be safe than sorry. And while uh, likely, you know, everything goes smooth, there is a chance that it doesn't. And uh, why take the risk if you don't have to, right? So I think the safest thing to do would just to be simply to hold the ETH in your hot wallet, like your MetaMask account. Also, with that being said, major brokerage like Binance and Coinbase and KuCoin, they've all announced that they're gonna temporarily halt trading and um, withdrawals and deposits for a little bit while this transition happens, which is completely normal. So I do expect uh, your money on the centralized exchange to be as safe as they normally would be. And I assume that normal activity on the exchanges would happen uh, post merge. I mean, just in the same day, you know, minutes after uh, everything has gone through. Now, one other thing is I'm assuming that uh, there's going to be a lot of hackers that are going to be out there trying to take advantage of people that are uninformed. So uh, just be really aware if people are asking you to do certain stuff with your Ethereum on the Ethereum proof of work chain, which will be the old chain. Uh, just be really careful with it. They could be trying to do some shady stuff. So just, just be, don't be dumb, basically. I also do expect that uh, there could be a lot of people trying to move Ethereum on the network around this time. So I think gas fees could be extremely high. So if you are planning on doing something, then I recommend doing it like today or before the uh, merge event. Cause if you're trying to do it right at the time of the merge, I think that the gas fees could be really, really expensive. And again, this is a very technologically difficult thing that they're doing. They've compared it to basically trying to like uh, swap out the engine on a plane while it's flying at the same time is kind of what they're trying to do. Uh, so it's uh, definitely a difficult thing. And uh, on top of that, you know, 40%, I think it's the number's around 40% of all altcoins um, and uh, I think all apps as well around that number actually operate on the Ethereum blockchain. So uh, there's a lot of apps that are also going to be uh, subject to the risk as well that are is happening with Ethereum moving from proof of work to proof of stake. So I think the safest thing is to just hold it in your uh, your hot wallet or uh, your centralized wallet's okay too. Maybe not quite as safe, but uh, just because of the, the general problems with um, centralized wallets. But all in all, this should be a really, really good thing for Ethereum long-term. Who knows, this could again be a sell the news event. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. And I'd like to know your opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this is gonna be a thing that once the news come out, everybody sells and price dumps? Or do you think this is going to continue to charge up uh, like the run that we've been seeing on Ethereum. Let me know in the comments below and if this video was helpful, feel free to check out some of the other helpful videos that we've made on this channel.